Hey BBs, it's Plus, again, came back with y'all for another video. Today's video, I really just wanted to wash up some dolls that needed some washing. Um, I just really needed a chill day way to end my day because I've been pre-filming and filming stuff for all day today and I had this really bad issue where I was trying to film this like ranking video, which I don't even know if it's going to be posted anymore because it's kind of outdated. Um, but I was editing it and it took me forever because I don't know how to like use my computer right and like the computer that I have is really like loud and stuff. So I was just trying to like figure out how to like, you know, you know how like you can like film your face and then you can film like the screen. It did not work at all. Like when I tell y'all, I was struggling on this thing for like five hours. So I just gave up and I made my like ranking videos. Like I usually make my ranking videos where I just like talk and then like I edit stuff in later. The editing took forever and then right when I finished editing, tell me why new monster ball images leaked of the dolls that i was like ranking so if the video went up then it'll be up before this but if not um it's scrapped um but i after that frustration of literally like five hours of me like fighting with this computer fighting with my phone um it's all worthless because it's outdated so whatever um i needed a way to end my video or end my day really chill and i thought i needed to do some dolls that have not been like really clean because i got a bunch of dolls in like christmas time and honestly like na late november and i haven't had time to like wash them all so i thought it'd be fun to kind of wash them with you guys the first doll that's going to be washed is miss eliza who oh my god her wings are bothering me which is another story i'll talk about well, that when i get her finished but her hair is like her hair's not bad it's like nice here but it's really gel at the bottom so i just want to like lightly do it i'm gonna try to be careful because i know she's like these bangs um which i don't want to get wet or anything but her hair is gonna be a really nice just simple fix i also have delilah field so i really need to wash because this doll has just i've i washed her before like trust me but the curls kind of just fell out a little bit like they just didn't i mean okay when i washed her though i don't think i knew how to wash curly hair and it just kind of looks mess because um i'm an idiot but i'm gonna rewash her today and i'm gonna get her curls looking gorgeous because i realized if you just like curl them individually like brush them while with the conditioner individually they turn on a lot more stronger and i just feel like i can do better than this so we're gonna do better than that um we also have to de-glue this draculaura doll who i've literally had on my desk for a week now ever since valentine's day um her hair, it's not like gluey, like that gluey. It's just like really like sticky. So I think if I just do a glue method and honestly get her hair better, maybe a boil wash and a straightening will also help. It just feels really dry at the ends. Not great. And I hate these like, I hate this length. I may honestly keep her hair down if I could find a, I don't think she's a part line, but if she does, I'll keep her hair down. Um, Cause I hate this hairstyle. It looks so bad. The, the dress is awful. Um, I also have Class Prez from OMG. Again, another doll that just needs to get rewashed because her hair is really, like, ew. It just feels dry and it feels dead. And it felt better when I first washed her, but I think time just kind of got to this BB. But, like, like we can do better. We can do better. We have more time now. I also have to finally wash my Torlite from Generation 3, who I just haven't washed yet. I don't know. Like, I just forgot about her. I mean, her hair is not jelly or anything. It just needs to, like, get fixed. It just feels dry and it feels... It could be better because it's saran hair. It does, it'll fix up really nicely. And I also have, I think, my last doll. Oh my god, she's so tiny. I have my generation. I have my... Okay, the last doll, though, is my um, junior high Bella Parker doll, who I got, like, a week ago. But I finally unboxed her yesterday. And, like, this hair needs to get... I want to give her, like, a bang, too, because I don't like the forehead thing. Um, so just join me. We'll do a really fun little video today. And... We'll get these BBs all looking gorgeous. Let's go. So I'm about to go watch Drag Race because it's a Friday night. But I wanted to show you guys how I do my Goo Gone method because I have Draculaura here. I took all of her accessories and stuff off. You could even see that she's like yellowing on her forehead um, to kind of show the glue that was kind of been taken off. And uh, I mean, like I said, kind of stained her. Um, but I like to do my Goo Gone method on dry hair dolls so I can really make sure everything is in there. And I just take the Goo Gone. I'll make sure it's on. I use a spray bottle one right here. It's really nice and really big. And I just take the doll's hair by sections. Like I'll section it off. And I'll do, I'll spray the goo gone. I guess maybe this is like a really small section, but like I'll take the sections like this maybe. And um, again, you can see how gluey and gross it is. I'll just spray it like this to make sure it gets in the roots and I'll brush it down and I'll do that with the whole head. Um, just to make sure, because you really want to make sure the um, glue gone is anywhere where the glue is. 
Um, so it doesn't have to be on the ends, but if the ends are gluey, then I would obviously suggest doing it. But you could see right here how it's kind of greasy now. Um, you mean the goo gone is actually in the thing. And you want to make sure, again, the goo gone is everywhere around that sculpt. Try not to get it, I guess, in the face if you don't have to. I'm not sure if it will take the paint off, but I've heard people that it does. So I'm just going to be back. And you can see now that the hair is fully greasy. It looks like, you know, she hasn't showered in a couple days, but I'm gonna let her sit here for like an hour and maybe an hour and a half, probably two if I forget. And I'll let her get this all soaked in her scalp and I'll be back to wash it out because I really wanna make sure it's all out once it's, you know, done doing its magic. Back, drag race is over and I'm just cleaning out all the goo gone from Dracula's head. And I was kind of aggressive when I um, scrubbed the shampoo out of her head and I did it like three or four times maybe just to like make sure the goo gone was out. And I'm just cleaning the rest of the dolls like normal. I'm not doing anything crazy, I don't think. And that's really it. We are on the floor letting the BBs dry. I always like to have my dolls like spread out like a chicken when they're drying because I'm scared of water getting in like the joints and stuff, especially with Rainbow High, Monster High as well. The joints are kind of, um, they just bother me. Like I'm very like anxious like that. Um, but I have them all drying out. Um, and I have Eliza. I'm really scared about her hair because I really don't want the bangs to get crazy. Um, they're all good though, especially like the, like this joint can get water in it. I'm just scared about it. And I also like to let my tools dry out because I don't want these to get moldy either. Um, so just like put them on the towel. I know they probably don't like do that much, but you know what I mean? Um, so I'll let these dry overnight and we'll go from there. I might have to straighten and boil her hair. I might boil her hair as well. Um, I don't think I'll boil anyone else's, but I'll have to see what we think about this in the morning. And she died. And the dolls are done drying. A lot of these turned out really nicely, like Delilah and Miss Class Prez are so beyond stunning. I love how it fixed up. It doesn't look frizzy anymore. Like the curls are all really pretty. I didn't really touch this hair or brush it out. I'm probably gonna just dress them because they look so gorgeous. Um, over here, I do have a junior high Bella who I might go in straighten her hair because I'm not like obsessed with like, it kind of like, it was my fault because like, I didn't lay it properly, but it kind of got crinkled up. Torlai is amazing. I want to boil wash her because her hair is saran and I think it could look really nicely after a boil wash. Let's skip on past Draculaura to look at Eliza really quickly because this doll actually turned out nicely as well. I might fix her bangs up a little bit. I'm not sure because they, don't, they don't look that bad. But then Mr. Draculaura, I'm going to boil wash her so this um, kink in her hair goes down because um, you kind of see it has like the ponytail look. And I want to straighten her hair because I feel like she'd look really cute straightened. Um, and I'm just kind of over the little sad ponytail that they gave her, so I'm just gonna let her hair, um, I guess just be, um, nice, so we're gonna let it be down, I guess, because there is also a part in there, which I do remember, because I had it down for, like, a year, I was like, I wanted to be sock, but then, like, the sock looked boring, so we're gonna boil wash these two. Here's a video of Draculaura in the freezer and my dog Dexter eating an ice cube because the ice cubes got frozen in me and Draculaura is in the freezer and she's shut and Dexter's eating another ice cube because Dexter can eat all the ice cubes that he wants because he's my favorite dog. I want to 
want to explain quickly what I did with Draculaura because she's dripping um wet, but I, I'll just, you know what? You see her now, right? You see her? Okay, remember that for when I talk about her because she's literally dripping. Oh my God, let me get my towel. Ah, no. Um, so sorry about that. She dripped all over. But I'm going to use this Claudine who actually don't, let's not even look at that Claudine. Let's use this Claudine. Um, so when I boiled the doll, I wanted to get all the kinks out of her hair, like the ponytail, because she's had that ponytail for like a year now at least. And, um, I just take the head and I, like, into the water so it, like, stays there. And then I put it in the freezer so it sets it in place because, I don't know if this actually works or anything. I just like doing it because I think it's funny and silly. And, I don't know, I put it in the freezer to, like, set, I guess. Um, because, like, extreme hot, extreme cold, I feel like it will work out. And, um, I, like, because a lot of people ask me all the time, like, what do you do when you put, the like, your doll in the freezer? Like, what's the purpose of it? And the purpose is to, like, set it, I guess. That's my answer now, um, after all these years. Um, but I on I just let her in the freezer for, like, uh, five minutes, just so her hair, like, freezes. And then I take her out. I don't leave her in overnight or anything. Um, but that's kind of, like, my rationale for what I just did with Dracula in the freezer. Um, again, it was just to set the hair because there are a way to, like, get the kinks out of, like, the hair when there are ponytails. And I'm gonna quickly try to show y'all, in the best of my abilities, how I give this doll with no parting or anything, um, a little, like, bang, a side bang, because that's my favorite thing to do with my dolls. So the first thing that I'm gonna get is obviously the doll, duh, and I lost my little comb, wait. But, all right. But you're gonna wanna use, now that I found it, you wanna use a fine tooth comb, a rat tail comb with an end really pointy like this. And I also do like to grab this little clip. I saw this from my kit in cosmetology school. Um, I just, it was in my bag, but this little hair clip is gonna be perfect for what I need to do. So I'm gonna take the doll, right? And hopefully my light is not too bright that we cannot see her because she's washed out down dolls. So you wanna take where you want the part to be. I want my part to be kind of like over here-ish. So I'm just gonna leave out like a small, or I'm gonna like take out a small section um, just in like with the home, I guess, like, here, like, this is, like, the section I want to be my part line, um, well, not, like, a part line, but, like, a bang, I guess, so, um, I'm gonna clip up the rest that I don't really need right now, because it'll just get in my way. I'm trying to adjust my camera, I'm really trying to do this the best so y'all can see what I'm doing, because it's really hard to kind of show, but I just take this, and I'm gonna slide my comb across really quickly, just across it, so, um, just so we're getting some of that hair, um, back. Because the reason why I'm doing this is so the hair, when I put it in a ponytail, it doesn't look like a bald spot. Hopefully we can see that. And now, after I took out a lot of the hair, I'm just going to weave it through. Just so I take the end of my comb and I just weave it through this part, like, horizontally. And, um, you're going to want to make sure you get enough hair that it's, like, even. So then when you pull it down, and you can always adjust it. Like, I'm going to adjust this really quickly just so... So I, didn't, I grabbed too much hair to put in the back section. And I do it like this. And then here you go. Where I know it's not a big part line. Because there's not much hair on the doll's head. You kind of see how like the part in her hair. I'll give you all a better close up. But like the part in her hair. There's like not a bald spot. So you could put it up. And you can also have this little bang. Because her forehead. Like see how it goes. Let me show y'all. Just ignore my bed, but you can kind of see, like, here, how, like, the line, it almost looks thatched, but I'm, like, really lazy and I didn't thatch it. It doesn't look perfect or anything, but it definitely has the ability to, you know, cover up her forehead a little bit and, like, give her a really cute little side bang where there is no part line. Um, I hope this kind of visual helps somebody or, I don't even know if anyone's, like, paying attention for the tutorial part, but I just wanted to, like, give this because I did the same thing on my Junior High Ruby, and I really, like, love the effect of it, and I've just been doing it on all my Junior High dolls that really need, like, a little, um, part line, so, like, she just kind of has a bang now. I really hope I made this clear, and if not, I can always clarify and try to refilm it or whatever, but, um, there is how her head looks now, so that's it. Now it's time to just dress the dolls, and I watched some, um, what's it called, like, Pit Stop from Dry Grace, um, from the Lost Sides episode, and I was just, you know, getting everyone dressed up, nothing crazy, um, just a silly little time lapse.
everybody's hair is done drying and you know everything is fierce i'm super excited to show you guys how these bbs turned out because they all look super fierce one of my favorites that i actually didn't realize would be my favorite was bella parker from the junior high series her ponytail is so beyond sleek it's so nice and soft and i love the little bang again i think it adds so much dimension on her head it's not just like a ponytail doll like i feel like she just has a little bit more personality now and i just think this doll is so beyond cute and so sweet we also have omg's class prez whose curls are a lot more nicer they are still a little bit messy in like this area but um i think for the most part they're not as like frizzy i feel like and i just love how it looks it looks super shiny and super sleek i love miss class prez she is so beyond cute we also do have Eliza, who I, my only thing with this doll was to just kind of get the gel out of her hair. And I think it looks super nice. I didn't really curl it or anything crazy, but um, her hair is just a little bit softer now. And she looks really nice and really pretty over there. We also do have Delilah, whose curls have also turned out really nice. A lot more sleeker. Obviously, I could probably recurl them and they'd look a lot nicer, but I'm really happy with them. I think she looks super nice and she looks just like super soft and super cute. I've always loved Delilah. She's so sweet. We also do have Miss Torlai, who her hair was never really bad or anything. It was just like it needed to be washed from the box and I kind of like neglected it and she's not staying on the stand very well. But I love how soft this hair is. It's super nice. Again, whatever. Um, I just think she looks too nice and it's like boiled and it's like perfect. It's nice soft hair. I love it. And the final doll we do have is Don Dot Dead Gorgeous Draculaura, whose hair I just kind of boiled down. And it doesn't, like, look the best, but it feels super soft, and I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks so much better than that, like, little, like, sad shrimp ponytail. I'm obsessed. Like, look at how pretty her hair is. She's so cutesy. But, um, that was really it. I really had a lot of fun kind of cleaning these dolls with you guys. It was so much fun, and it was really definitely needed for a lot of them. Heavy on Miss Delilah. And, I don't know, I'm just really happy that my dolls are now in a better, um, state. I feel like it's always good to, you know, clean your dolls and stuff. But, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about my transformations. If you, like, didn't like any of them or whatever, I'm dying to know. But, again, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching today's video. It was so much fun with you guys. And I cannot wait to catch y'all in the next one. I love you all so very much. Please have a great night. Love you. Bye. Mwah.